What's up guys and welcome if you're new to this channel, welcome back if you've been here before. Um, today I want to show you guys how you can do this awesome Sam Colder zoom transition. Alright guys, so once Premiere Pro is open, what you're going to do is go in your timeline and right here I just have two clips that I want to use for this transition. It's two hyperlapses, so it goes in and then we go to the next one. And the effect I wanted to look like is like it's a continuous motion. So this is going to play and it's going to move and zoom into the next one. So it looks like one fluid motion. So to do this effect, all you have to do is bring these two clips in, then come down here where it looks like this little page thing and click new item and then select adjustment layer and then make sure it fits everything on your sequence settings. Then you just want to drag the adjustment layer over here, put it on top of these two clips. So to do this is really easy. The first thing you want to do is just come here, come between the two clips and use the up and down arrow keys to find where the split is. You want to drag in this adjustment layer. So it's just, so it starts at the cut between the two clips and goes out for about, I'd say five or six frames. You can mess around with this for the transition length, but I think that five or six frames usually works best. So for five frames, you can just hit shift and then the right arrow key and take you over five frames, drag it out over there and then just cut this back right here so it starts right at the cut. All you have to do after that is press Alt on your keyboard, left click with the mouse, and then drag up your adjustment layer here to create a copy of it. And then after that, what you're gonna wanna do is press Shift and then press the left arrow key right at the split of the two clips. So you go five frames to the left and drag out the top adjustment layer over there. So your adjustment layer should look like this. All right, now to start building the effect. So for this, we're gonna put, for the bottom adjustment layer, make sure you have it selected. We're gonna go into effects and then we're gonna search up an effect called replicate. And you're just gonna drag that and drop it on the bottom one. And you'll notice that it kind of recreates all your footage here. It's probably gonna take a little bit of mine because I have so much footage in this clip. But it, creates, it splits your footage into four little boxes right here. But we wanna make it a little bit more than that. You wanna make it like nine or something. So we make it three. So that way we'll have something. And basically what we're gonna do is end up mirroring all these edges so that way when we zoom in, we'll zoom into this one and these edges will be mirrored making it seem like there's a whole lot more space and that you're actually zooming into something other than just scaling up and down the clip. So after that, what you wanna do is find this other effect called mirror and then just drag and drop that on the bottom adjustment layer. We're actually gonna use this effect four times. So I'm just gonna drag over three more times. All right, and this is where we're gonna to start to mirror these edges so we get rid of these harsh lines so that when we're doing the effect, it doesn't look like you're just making a bunch of these copies. The exact numbers of these can be a little bit different. So at some point, I'll just leave my screen right here so you can just look and see the numbers that I used for this effect so you can just copy. Anyway, we're gonna start with zero and we're just gonna drag, we're just gonna drag on the X axis to the left until these two lines meet right here. Anyway, the next angle that we're gonna do is 90 degrees on the reflection angle, so you just type that in. You'll notice right away it flips it. And then here we're just gonna change the Y position and pull it down until these two lines right here meet on the on the bottom line, so we can get rid of that. Boom, all right, so that's done. Now we just have these two lines right here on the left and on the top. So for this one, I'm gonna go with 180 degrees. And you'll notice it covers the whole screen, but you're just going to drag all the way to the left on the X axis until you bring this clip over and pull it. And you can see right here is the, where the split is, um, this harsh line, and you just got to meet these up so it creates a nice, smooth, mirrored look. All right, that looks pretty good to me. And then the last one, you can do 360 or negative 90, and then just pull it up on the Y axis until these two meet right here. And then boom, that looks pretty good to me. Everything's mirrored, I can't see any hard lines or anything. Um, these are the numbers right here over that that I used. If you guys wanna look at how to do that and copy what numbers I use, so you don't have to search around, move the bars and you just type the numbers. But yeah, that's it for that. So after that, what we're gonna do is search up another effect called Transform. It should be under the Stort uh, tab in the Effects panel. And we're just gonna drag that on the top adjustment layer. Make sure this is on, make sure this is on the top adjustment layer. The bottom adjustment layer is like the effect and the top one's like controlling the effect. So basically what we're gonna do right here is zoom in on this clip and then we're gonna start zooming in on this clip and the mirrored edges are gonna make it look like you're zooming in from far away. So to bring this back into the center and make this one clip and not look like it's mirrored, you start at the very beginning of this 
hit the stopwatch right next to scale to start uh, the keyframes for that and then make sure your scale is set to 100. Then what you're going to want to do is come, I'd say, like to the middle or at least just before the end of this second clip. I mean, just before the end of the adjustment layer and then adjust your scale to 300% and then just drag this keyframe over to the end so it's at the very end of the adjustment layer and then you can hit ease in on both of these so it's nice and smooth. And already you can see it's a pretty nice zoom transition but you may notice that you can see a little bit of this uh, the, all this stuff down here so to make this a little bit smoother what you're going to want to do is add some motion blur and to do that all you have to do is uncheck this box right here that says use compositions shutter angle and then right where it says shutter angle you can type in any value that you want to create motion blur typically i've seen people use 360 which is the most motion blur you can add and it makes it look really smooth but i think sam colder's look is a little bit lower so i like to use something like 129 and I think it just makes it look a little bit smoother especially for the zoom outs uh, the zoom outs that it uses and uh, yeah the last thing you want to do for this is uh, obviously throw some sound effects in there sound effects definitely help sell the transition as a whole all right that one works good for me I kind of like that one so then all you have to do is bring it into your timeline and the audio channel and just match up where the zoom is kind of at its peak level and sound you want to make sure that's at the cut between the two clips and I think that looks pretty good for me and then all you gotta do is play it back and you can see that definitely adds the effect if you took out the sounds right here if you took out the sound effect right there it definitely makes a huge difference so it definitely adds to the whole overall zoom transition and that's it for today guys that's how you do the Sam Colder zoom transition hopefully you guys got something out of it and enjoyed this video so if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel for more content and that's going to be it for me today, guys. So until next time, I'll see you then.